I think that financially, money controls so much of our real day-to-day life that when you are absent of money, it is hard, dog, to just be happy because, again, money controls so much shit. Money controls where you live. Money mm. controls where you eat. Money controls how your kids go to school. Money controls what environment your children live in. Money controls if you're walking on a 90-degree day or if you're driving on a 90-degree day. Money controls the shitty jobs that you might have to take versus jobs that you might enjoy. Money controls so much stuff in our day-to-day life that that's why niggas out here running on the rat race to get it. That's true, but it don't have to control your happiness. Everything you just said is true. I just think it's so ingrained in our live show that it. this is my personal belief. And I think if people really sat still and really thought about it, more people would really agree. But we've been kind of conditioned to be like, no, 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 I'm good. Like, I think that's poor people shit when they be like, yo, money don't buy happiness. I know. <laughs> I just think that. I think we've conditioned to put a negative moniker on money. Money well, is the, the root of why, all evil. The reason why, shit like that. I think the, that we've just been conditioned to do that. Well, the reason why a lot of poor people would could think that is because we do see a lot of people that come into money, more money, more problems. They'll sit there and say, yo, I, I became miserable. Cardi B was just saying, like, all this fame and money shit, like, this is fucking with me. I was much happier. I never heard her say that, but. She's, uh, I don't know the exact <clears> thing, but. She she was basically just tired of all of this shit. Dog. But there are people. And people I get what you say said. It, just give I, it back. I give it away. Say. If you if you think you are happier than, and you want to be happy, give it the fuck away. You just added something. That's ignorant. You just, I bet no, you no, they no. won't do it. But you just added ignorant, something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Joe. I said Ish, you added a part there, and you want to be happy. Nobody said that. that's why I keep saying. Somebody could make it to a certain level with all this money and and. Security, I might take the unhappiness that comes with it because at least everybody else is good. Also, yeah. not for nothing, Cardi B could not go back to living in the Bronx in the in the projects or wherever she lived before as famous as she is. Like that would not be safe. I don't, for I don't her. think that's an option for her. It's yeah. not an option. But it's not. I yeah, just think that I'm, I'm but they but, that. but someone who has experienced both sides of the coin, if they if if they're the ones that can tell you, yo, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I could do anything I want in the world right now, but I was just happier when it was that. I they can say that because I, I they're speaking from there. I haven't heard them. You're right. They could. I haven't heard them. So until I see other people start to say that, then maybe it's something for me to ponder. But I have not heard them. I think it's ignorant, that one part about Neil giving money back Eisen for me. Is. Mm. Because we just now seeing, like for the first time, these millionaires pop up in these different families, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So... I may be the first, second, or third. Just an early, like we're seeing this influx sure, now. Sure, sure, sure. So it's like, in spite of how I feel or how another person with a couple dollars might feel, you still need the currency for your family. You don't say. So now you're saying give it back. So now you as a dad, I'm not saying give it back. I'm saying you just if you. Over. I gave I, Mad time. I brought that up to Ice's point where he said people are saying that they were, we're much happier or poor. Yeah, but I'm gonna sac- make this sacrifice yeah. for and my I, children. And I, what did and I say? I said that was a great yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that was a great you point. You what you I'm did. saying is this: in even in that, now that you are able to provide for your kids, provide for your mom, provide for your little sisters, your little brothers, there's some joy in that. There has to be some joy in doing that. When you're not able to do that, that's fucking misery. If you got kids and your kids aren't eating good food, my nigga, I don't see how you can be happy. When you got kids and they living in a shitty environment and they're getting shitty education, I don't see how that could bring you happiness. I look at it so different from what you're saying. Bro, all you right, can have happiness right, inside your home, right, and the second you step out your side on, your go. home, you potentially could get shot at the bodega. You could potentially get your ass whooped on the corners. That's not happiness, my nigga. I've been there. So all these niggas that's saying that they happy there, it's bullshit to me. That's their opinion. I can't say that I'm talking about what I feel. Poverty is not cool. It ain't We're happy. Saying, we, we, Getting cracked on when your clothes is fucked up ain't cool. They can't no more. That's why these little boys be going to sell drugs. Because you're tired of getting ridiculed. Some of them, not all of them. You're tired of getting ridiculed because you don't got the fly shit. The girls don't like you because you don't got the fly shit. 
You getting bullied. You getting picked on. Come on, my nigga. We see what is driving kids today when they getting bullied in school and when they getting picked on in school. We see what they doing. A lot of that shit comes from poverty situations. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I know what drove niggas to sell drugs when I was a kid because niggas start pulling up in drop top BMWs and CRXs and all that shit when we was little. Niggas had four and five and six and 20 well, pairs of well, sneakers well, when we was kids. Well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, 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 that's not, that's a percentage because also what drove some other ones was, yo, you are of age. There's no man here. You need to bring some money into this household. Which, which, which is a stem of what, Ice? It's, it's an extension of poverty. No, I know. I'm when your saying, mother is telling you, nigga, you just turned 18. We can't get along. You got to go out now and be a man and bring some money in this household. Your mother's not telling you that when you're wealthy. She's saying, yo, explore your options. You might want to go to college. You might want to go to the Peace Corps. You might want to travel abroad. No, I was just saying it's not an option. I'm, but they're all, all stemmed. So and how do you feel about the, the they used to say there was the a study at one point that said 75 grand is like the, the threshold for happiness. Like anything above that doesn't significantly add to your happiness. Those people doing that study didn't come to New Jersey or New York or LA or Miami I'm or DC for that. to there's, do it. There's a clip of a guy that's just running down all of these things when he's trying to counter Ish's point to mm. say money does not buy happiness. He goes to a long list. He says money can buy you insurance. It can't buy you safety. Money can buy you school. Ask Steve Jobs. Can't Wealth buy can't you. buy health. I know. Yeah, it can't buy you education. Mm. Money can buy you. I probably you. got one on yeah, my phone. Yeah, you went through this whole yeah. long list. So it's like, I, I have a different perspective on what you're saying. Like, my little brother's in uh, karate class. I told you that. We made some jokes about it before. Mm. Um, yeah, you could have the money to put them in karate class. Still don't Just, make them safe. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I pay for I pay I pay show. for my sister's what is it called the Montessori school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know the prices on them shits. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I pay for that. Mm -hmm. I pay for it's a cute school. Great, I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. The flip side of that is, hey, she might be behind in reading, so we need the Montessori. I'm not we're happy not about that. Yeah, but you're well, adding. That, you're adding. My, my only counter to that to, would be we, that we she might be behind her reading if she was at public school. Exactly. Or you're adding. I'm listen just to saying, this. Some I, I of the things that you can afford yourself school, might not necessarily mean happiness. The Montessori school. We going to keep it apples to apples. Good. The Montessori school for your your sister, in her current level, right? Do you think? She's going to get a better education, better opportunities, better potential advancement at the Montessori school or the local public school that she's at. I can answer for you. The Montessori school, that's why you pay for it. Well, my answer is I hope. Yeah. There you go. That's why you pay for it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There you go. You have a Maybach, right? You get a, you think. My, my Bach. My Bach, pardon me. <laughs> you think the My Bach is a better car, better, safer car, et cetera, et cetera. That's why you buy it. That's why we moved to certain yeah, neighbors. That shit just stung these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Oh, that's true. true. That's that's true. true. Yeah, part of that. Look, we <laughs> live in, <laughs> we live in some. <laughs> so like, oh, I got leg room. Shit might be a cardboard box for all we know. Fuck these airbags. Look at these lights. It don't take much to get up. Crumple like styrofoam. Yo, we moved to certain communities. We live in certain communities, or we aspire to do so because of the privileges or benefits that come along with living in those communities and doing certain shit. Sometimes it's just a view. So the stun on these niggas. That, that, there's a privilege. <laughs> there's a